How's it going everyone? My name is Bradley and welcome back to some more Streets of Rogue. It has been such a long time, but I've been playing a lot of this game as you can tell. I recently purchased the DLC which had a bunch of new characters and I'm currently stuck on trying to get through goons. So, let's see if I can have a better shot of how I usually am. And I'm sorry if you can hear the game better than me right now. I am currently working on adjusting my audio, but I hope I am speaking loud enough for everyone watching right now. But, uh, I will adjust things here because I'm not sure about OBS. I don't trust it exactly. And then next bit on audio editing and all that. Also, just the sound effects volume. That should be it. So, the goon's big quest is to Speak to someone in one of these buildings, which should be on the floor, but it's not. And you need to protect them from overpowered bad guys. They're overpowered because they just seem to always be a bit of a major problem for me. But I've been playing a lot of this game, completing the big quests. It's just been a lot of fun, and I'm so glad my friend bought this game for me. So, yeah, a lot of stuff has been going on since quarantine. I've been doing my best to cover it, and I apologize, but I haven't really had much inspiration for making videos lately, so then I apologize for that. But here I am now, I have the inspiration, things are getting a bit better, and I hope I, I do a good job. Yeah. But, I do hope to do a little bit more on this, so far I only plan to do this video and another video on this showing you my favourite ending out of all the characters. I thought I did record that, but I guess that recording somehow got lost. Even though it takes me a while to complete certain characters because of how hard they can be sometimes, this game is still highly enjoyable and I love playing this every minute I get. Now I just wait for him to go to the exit, get over there. Ooh, I'm getting the good stuff pretty early already. I like that. Gives me a bit of an advantage. And firearms, speaking of which. So, we'll see how far I get. Uh, I don't know how far I'm gonna get, because usually a run with this character doesn't end well for me. Especially with this disaster. Because if I enter a building, that's gonna happen. Someone's gonna just pull out a shotgun and go guns blazing. Like so. One of my worst disasters. That and the killer robot. But I've missed playing this game for YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I have like probably over 10 episodes on this by now. I can't remember exactly. But this game is a ton of fun to record because I like playing this. I don't know if you guys enjoy watching this, but I hope you do. It's a win-win for both of us. And now I just hope I don't die because of fire. Now that I turned off the security. Everything should be good. I got, uh... Great, so I gotta, uh, I gotta go over here. I'm not indoors. Oh, bounty, right? Well, odds are, the moment I walk through that door, I'm gonna get... 
blazed with a hell of bullets. So, gotta be careful. I'm here to protect you, do not shoot me. I love the shotgun. my way. And no one has to kill me anymore. At least until I nix commit a crime on the next floor. No big deal. Nice. Just before I forget. And moving on. Can't teleport on disaster floors so. though. I started like a floor later because I didn't want to bore you guys too much. But we still got plenty of action left to go. It all depends on how long I survive. You get out of here. You fool to you do. Neutralize the target. Okay, screw you. Neutralize the target by uh, asking them to leave as soon as you break them out of there, or you can just blow the door, the door detonator you saw there. I personally prefer it that way. That's more fun. And this game is all about guns and explosions, and that's what I like. Let's see what these syringes do. Usually, when I do this, it usually gives them good stuff. That's what I hate. Should be at a radius. Three, two, one, and boom. I feel like whenever I record these things for YouTube, I have a lot more luck. But we'll see just how hard things get. Especially when I'm taking a turn out in the open. Hey, at least the cops are coming to my aid. That's a good thing about this big quest. They draw weapons. Good weapons for me to use. Hmm. Need that, that. Look a bit silly, but it's worth it. There's a salamatic. You're in this crap. I gotta make that $40 back, but no big deal. 
that, that, and uh, I guess I'll keep the freezer for now. I got the kill profiter. I'll keep the buy swappers just in case. Hmm. Yep, that should be it. Find a tour or something on the next floor to try that. Syringe out. GPS, that'll help me get around quicker. Oh wait, that's the wrong house. Mm, never mind. Hi there. I better decide that. Don't want to do something like that too close. There's this trick you can do where I don't know if I'll be able to show this episode or a video, but if you but if you're close enough and you whack someone and they go flying at a generator, they'll blow up. It's pretty funny, but make sure you're out of range by the time. And if they have enough impact force when they're being hit. But it's really funny when that happens. I also love blowing up these overclocked generators. Because who doesn't love giant explosions? I know I could just teleport it, but it wasn't that far to walk, so let's do this. Oh, I'm trying so hard not to yawn right now. That's everything except for the place I gotta defend. I almost forgot, whenever I record, my, my body just always seems to want to yawn. I don't know why. Me, I swear I'm interested in this game. It just does My body just does whatever it wants sometimes. Because it doesn't want people to watch this video, apparently. But I hope people do. This card is making things much easier. No, I'm sorry. Uh, you can't. As much as I would love big bullets. I don't think that'd be suitable for this one right now. This could be difficult, especially yeah, with my big quest that I gotta do. Because I have to defend from assholes and zombies as well, so this will be interesting. This is everything I'm to go. That is if my enemies don't get eliminated by zombies first.
Is that all of them? One more. Yep, all oh, done. Zombie's probably not the worst. Oh, target is still alive, that's good. But he's probably about to die in the next few seconds. I stand corrected. Go oh, damn, buddy. Anyway, moving on. Got my regular objectives to go now. Now I just hope I don't run into the gas. Awesome. I've, uh, I thought I had a lockpick. I guess I don't. Sneaky, sneaky. Run, 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 just run. Wait, what's that glitch there? Oh, there we go. That was weird. Just looked like he died while holding an axe. Ah, uh, screw the key the lamp. It only gives me like a few coins. Every time I hit it. I'm trying to get rid of stuff in my inventory. That was your own fault. Let's just hope this is a good one. Of course not. I never get the good ones. I'm bringing a knife to a gunfight, and yet I still win. Okay, this generator is overclocked, so I won't work with this guy. But if it ever happens again, hopefully I'll get it on video. That's how much of an idiot I can be, everyone. I forget that I regenerate a blow that I just walk straight into the blast radius. Well, there. That's not how I thought I would die, but it just happened. So, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode, which I will be recording after this. I will start playing as the Doctor and get to the end and show you what he says at the podium. And hopefully I have it recorded this time. So... I'll see you guys when I get there. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe to my awesome channel, and I will see you guys soon or next time. Later, everyone.